coming to coming to Columbia, what's what's it been like since since you got here? Yeah, no, it's been an awesome transition. Uh, you know, it's been a quick quick turnaround uh, from summer since I committed. What was it, June tenth or something? Like that, um, but yeah, it was a quick turnaround. Came out here, um, you know. It's it's awesome being around the, this college town, great community. Um, you know, the transition from FCS to here, whereas the facilities and everything, it's been a huge step up, I'll say. Um, you know, but I'm excited to be here. Um, you know, it's awesome working with Coach Drink, Coach uh, Coach Johnson. Um, you know, they're great guys. They know a lot. <laughs> Very intelligent guys. Um, you know, as well as the the football players, you know, the competition level has risen a lot. Um, you know, this is the highest competition level in college football. Um, you know, I'm excited to be here and compete. What, what about Mizzou? You know, you kind of talked about it, but, but what was it that, that made you want to come here? I would say the uh, the coaching staff um, that really, you know, lean towards, you know, there's all, all other factors, you know. There's a difference between, <laughs> I'll say, getting recruited from in high school until now. Um, you, you learn about the, the little details, you know, all the flashy stuff. I, you know, I couldn't really care less. It's, it's like, you know, what's the football team like? Um, you know, how, how are the players engaged with each other? How are the coaches engaged with the players? How do the coaches coach? You know, I, you know, I had to think about all of that stuff. Whereas when you're young and, you know, high school guys, they don't really see that. Um, so that, that's what I saw. And I saw Mizzou as a great fit. And, you know, since I've been here, it feels like home. Um, you know, I felt like the same, same decision as I did in high school when I went to Montana State. Uh, that same, that home feeling, you know, and, you know, it's, I've been here. Uh, Case and Mike have brought me under their wing, and it's been, it's been great. So, what kind of opportunity do you feel like you have here to to get meaningful playing time? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, like uh, I think Case has mentioned multiple times, when, and Coach Johnson has mentioned multiple times since I got here. Um, you know, there's right now there's no starting five, right? You got to earn your spot. Everybody's at equal playing field, and I think that's awesome. You know, because you know, as a new guy coming in, you know, you start at the bottom, right? Because uh, you're new, you're new. But um, you know, it's awesome because it gives me the extra edge of, you know, I got to come in here, I got to play. Um, you know, it's also very, very cool that Coach Johnson rotates guys. You know, if you work hard, if you do the, if you do the right things, you're gonna play. And I think that is very awesome um, because I, I feel like experience. Uh, you know, it helps and it, it it lets a player develop. So, what's something uh, the Mizzou fans don't know about you that, that you know something fun that, that maybe uh, he's like don't don't know about me? <laughs> I'll say I like cooking food. So. <laughs> I'll say I'm a, I like marinating steaks. I like uh, I like tra I'm a big fan of Traeger. <laughs> um, I'll say that. Yeah, I'm a chef. <laughs> You guys gonna do any offensive line uh, cookouts or anything? Oh, I'm <laughs> sure we will. With co you know, with COVID still, it's yeah. kind of it's very difficult. But um, you know, I, I'm hoping they we do something like that because I'm gonna show off. <laughs> <laughs> What's the go-to meal? Oh, steak, potatoes, and broccoli. Go-to meal. <laughs> nice. Smoking like a true offensive line. Yeah, exactly. So how do you season the steak? All right. What are you doing with the potatoes? So really, all you need to do with the steak is um so if you want let's say if you want to marinate um i like worcestershire sauce a little bit of soy sauce and then olive oil that's it and then you put you know whatever season you want i usually do just salt and pepper but sometimes when it's a, like you want a fast quick good steak i uh do a little salt smoke it on the trigger for like an hour um at 225 and then i reverse sear it and then you put a little pepper, a little seasoning on it, and then boom. And then potatoes, you just got to boil it. And then uh, I put them in that. So I boil them, then I smash them, and I put them in an the air fryer. So they're soft inside, and they're crispy on the outside. I like how he's like, if, I, if you want a quick steak, <laughs> yeah. put it in the oven for, for an hour. <laughs> yeah. I need to work on my steak game a little bit. <laughs> nice. Best cut of steak. Uh, I love the ribeye. Yep. The biggest ribeye you can get. I also do love the tomahawks. <laughs> So, okay. <laughs> I tried to. I at least I, I know a little bit. Oh, tried to. That's what yeah. my dad always. <laughs>